Hi, this is Brian Pash, and this is a brief video overview of the research I'm conducting to help dealers select an automotive CDP partner to organize their first party data, to create more effective audiences, and to bring their business to new levels of efficiency and profitability. More and more dealers are realizing that they need to look at their data in the CRM and DMS as a portfolio looking at each customer, their preferences for communication, their service and purchase history. And this is especially important across dealer groups where customers are cross-shopping brands, servicing brands at different locations, and dealer groups are realizing that they don't have a very simple way to categorize all the touch points across their franchise dealer websites, their group websites, maybe their independent used car sites, let alone all of their communication channels. Dealer groups are also very focused on developing better household profiles of who's living in each house, what devices are being used in each house, so that better targeting and marketing can be launched more effectively to reach their sales goals. The breakthrough? Well, that depends on who you talk to. Some companies are saying CDPs have been out for years, and they have, but for the most part, only the largest dealer groups in the U.S. have begun to really develop a comprehensive customer data platform. But today, more and more companies are entering into the automotive retail space to develop best-in-breed customer data platforms to help dealers execute better marketing and retention campaigns. But our system is challenged. Let's take a look at the current consumer ecosystem. This is your customer in green. They visit your website and now your website provider has a piece of data on their consumer journey. You may have an identity resolution partner on your website, which is capturing consumer data as well. Now we have two companies that have a piece of the customer journey. Of course, if you have a digital retailing tool, they're going to have some data. Most dealers are using now GA4 to track every click, hover, and swipe on their websites. There's the fourth piece of technology that has copies of your customer journey. Of course, consumers will fill out forms on the website, and that data will go in the CRM. And on some of the websites, secure forms on iframes like schedulers and finance stocks send data to the DMS. Now we have seven companies with pieces of the customer journey. Don't forget, people will click the call on their mobile phone. Now the telephony platform has inbound call records and also that data can be in GA4 as well. And don't forget, the sales team is going to be communicating with the customer through the CRM, through the platform. So now we have inbound and outbound phone calls. The CRM is going to start marketing to the consumers, but some dealers are using separate digital retail and desking tools, and they're also sending communication, text messages. Now we have nine different technology platforms with a piece of the customer journey. If the engagement results in a sale in two years, three years, dealers now use equity mining tools, a 10th potential company sending communications to that customer. Of course, every month, Dealers are taking data from the CRM and DMS to do marketing campaigns. And then, of course, consumers call into the telephony platform to service their car, schedule recall repairs. And, of course, most dealers have a separate company doing service marketing. This is just a simple example where 12 different companies, technology platforms, have pieces of the customer journey. But there's more touch points even than what's demonstrated here. Dealers are realizing something has to change. This data ecosystem is very complex. There's repetitive communication going out to their customers. The right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. And more importantly, dealers don't know the cadence of their marketing messages, which creates aggravation within their channel as consumers get marketing message from vehicles they've sold or marketing messages for things they've just completed. And of course, this is quite perplexing because today we have the potential to resolve this, but 
Our technology infrastructure doesn't support it. What do we really have here? We have a bunch of crap. That's what we have. When you think about what dealers are having to put up with today, it screams for a better solution. With so many data silos, it's the CDP, the customer data platform that has the potential of uniting all this disparate information in the data silos and connecting them. At the core of a CDP is identity resolution without being able to connect these different communications and touch points along the customer ownership or shopping journey. The CDP is ineffective. And in order to identify who these consumers are, companies create identity graphs. Some of the CDP players are working with companies to compile a aggregate source of devices, addresses, phone numbers, and shopping behaviors to connect them. What does that look like? Data is shared from online shopping websites, your ISP, gaming consoles, mobile apps, information is shared from credit card transactions, loans, court records, divorces, Connected card data will soon be part of this data ecosystem, but marketing outcomes, software subscriptions, don't forget OEMs have loyalty programs, so do hotels, your credit apps from department stores, global positioning and device location from telecom towers, of course, registration data, service records, car loans and leases, and of course, dealers have data from their website, their email campaigns, their CRM communication, their DMS and phone. And don't forget the millions of affiliate networks where data sharing and data partnerships in privacy compliant ways are helping build an identity graph for each consumer. Depending on your dealer group size, there may be a data lake involved in addition to a CDP or just a CDP. What is a data lake? It's a repository for all a dealer's data. For example, website activity, identity resolution activity, CRM activity, third-party leads, service schedulers, DMS transactions, changes to inventory on a daily basis, text message each day, chat messages each day, inbound and outbound phone calls, of course, marketing outcomes. All of that data can be processed uh, through specific proprietary algorithms to update a CDP, a single source of truth for each customer. Now, some platforms have a data lake and a CDP kind of all housed in one, but there are large dealer groups that like the idea of a data lake so they can run their own proprietary reports and own business case in addition to the CDP. The CDP is going to have partnerships with credit bureaus, identity resolution companies to enhance each record with lifestyle. Maybe somebody recently got married or recently purchased a home. And then BI tools like Vistadash and others will be looking at the CDP to create audiences. Those audiences then would be sent to marketing automation platforms to activate those records across different media channels. The key here is that through data partnerships and integration and smart processing, dealers can create more efficient marketing audiences. What's that really look like behind the scenes? Well, some of you may have worked with databases before, but each one of these vendors in a data lake or a CDP are actually sending in data to tables in a data lake or a CDP. These tables of data are updated on a regular basis, then processed to update the CDP. Again, in partnership with third-party enhancements, in partnership with BI tools, dealer groups can now finally have a more efficient marketing outreach and supportive business procedures that optimize their revenue. But the current challenge that dealers are facing is that many of the data like CDP partners are using CRM as one of the primary contributors. But the problem with the CRM is that CRM systems merge leads from all these sources. Agents can disable leads. Agents can change data in the CRM. The ADF XML files that send data in the CRM are limited. Not all calls and not all chats and texts are in the CRM. 
But yet these are touch points from the consumers that dealers want to model to better understand their communication preferences, the time of day in which they prefer to transact, or how they do business with the dealership. What we need to move from is on the left side, which is the CRM as the aggregator, to being look at the CDP or the data lake where all of these contributors that would normally be consolidated by the CRM could be moved directly into the data lake or the CDP. Of course, you'll always import the CRM data, but what you're going to find out is that there's huge gaps between what's in the CRM and what the individual pure lead sources or communication sources can provide. The benefits to dealers who are embracing with CDPs in 2023 is finally having clear household mapping, personalized media, timely messaging, increased lifetime value, and of course, lower marketing costs. But there's a lot of confusion in the marketplace on how to get there. So look for my CDP market research report that will be published in March of 2023. And you can put your name on the list to be the first to receive the list by going to brianpash.com and scrolling down. Or you could just go to brianpash.com slash automotive dash CDP dash review to put your name on the advanced published list so you can have that information, especially if you're shopping for CDP platforms. One last thing, keep in mind that the Digital Marketing Strategies Conference in Austin, Texas this May is going to have a CDP marketing automation technology showcase. The leaders in customer data platforms are coming with some special speakers who are from CDP companies outside of automotive. This is going to be the place for dealer groups and advanced dealers who want to truly manage their first-party data in a privacy-compliant and legal-compliant way, DMSC will be the place to be. So look for that research report and get your name on the distribution list. If you have any questions, email me at brian at brianpash.com.